hi welcome to K Warner Studio today I'm going to show you how I make these magnetic panels to store my dies on They're usually standalone dies the ones that go with stamp sets uh, most 99% uh, of the time I include them with the stamp and I would put them on one of these smaller ones and put them in with the stamp container the stamp cap uh, envelope or um, case or whatever it may be but here are some of them and these are standalone dies so and I put the company that they're from on the back so these are all a uh, your next stamp and uh, this is another example I put your next stamp um, these are as well and these are but these are um, combined so on the back I will have what they are Sunny Studios one my favorite things and Mama Elephant so this is Mama Elephant, and these are the other two. And then I go on to um, Assortment, Sunny Studios, Simon Says Stamp. Uh, these ones are the clouds that are in the giveaway. And um, yeah, remember to sign up for that giveaway. These are all lawn fawn, but you get the idea. So I'll put these back, and then I'll show you how I do it. It's not very hard, and it's quite economical. And because this has cardboard on the back, it gives the, the magnet sheet a lot of stability. So this is a package that uh, backing that comes on your paper, your pattern paper. Let that focus a bit. And um, I let my magnetic sheet dictate how I'm going to cut this paper. So my magnetic sheet, I get them in a package of three or four now from Lowe's and when I travel across the border I pick them up and so as you'll see this particular box I have a pencil line here where I've measured them off is exactly the width of this magnetic sheet so let's proceed and I'll show you how I get this done now my recommendation is that you use um, a paper trimmer that has a shelf self sharpening blade because uh, this kind of thing can really uh, dull down a blade quite quickly. So this is one of my sharpeners or trimmers that has a, a self-sharpening blade that I can work with while the camera's um, going because it doesn't take up as much space. So I'm going to strip off, cut off that one strip on the end where I have it left. I'm going to strip off this section of my cardboard. Now this leftover piece here is what I use to make my smaller my smaller ones. You'll notice it here. I just cut them in half and there we go. And then I will this is the cut and I'll give you the measurements here in two secs because I'll measure it them all for you so in case you want to try it. So these like I say are just the backs of pattern paper that comes you know sometimes in a pad or singly wrapped up and I just save them. I find that you don't need a real heavy one but you need something um, a little more firm or stable than the real thin cardboard. So this is six inches wide and it is eight inches long. Okay so then we just take the same thing with with uh, our magnetic strip. So I'm just going to move this cutter out of the way for a second. Or trimmer because I want to um, pencil, do pencil lines on where I want to cut it. So you can do it that way or you can lay your, a ruler and do it. But I just use the cardboard because everything, everything will be the same. No surprises in the end. Just let me get a pencil and we'll be all set. Okay, so this is going to be our first line. And then we butt this right up against that pen pencil line and we trim that. So there we have two additional ones that I can have or I can make, pardon me. And now I'm going to get my paper trimmer back up. And we're going to cut this off on, at the pencil line. Not uh, overly technical here but I know people buy them. They don't um, at some kind of a stamp, uh, stamp and storage. Maybe that's the name of it. 
but they don't ship here and the cost of it would be shipping would be oh, unbelievable in the thousands of dollars so we're just going to settle with this now I keep every piece that's left over I don't discard any of it because um, because this is nice and sturdy you can piece them together if you choose to I save them for the smaller pieces but you might not and then I add the tape so this is a double-sided tape and it's fairly sticky but it's wider which is what I like so then I just run the tape down here And unfortunately, I have to cut this because it doesn't uh, rip. Isn't it one of the ones you're going to rip? And then make sure you get the middle after you get the two ends. And that's really all you need. Sometimes, you know, you have a tendency to go overboard with it. But these aren't going to go anywhere when you, when you apply the tape. So there we go. So that's three strips. And then we're going to lift the backing or the release paper up. is not so good so because of that I'm going to lay another strip right beside it it's a problem with this tape sometimes it's not as easy to uh, get up as release the backing as you'd like uh, so let's see I'll try to get this one up without taking too much with us that's two strips and then over here to the third There we go. So I'm going to add this. I line these edges up and then just let it go. So this is, and if I have any extra tape hanging off the end, I get rid of it before I put them away with the rest because you don't want them to stick together. And then if I have any extra, I trim it off. Um, it's not, uh, not a biggie. It's not going to hurt a thing. all lined up and a little more I think I'm scared of, you know I don't want to cut off the cardboard so I kind of overcompensate so there we go we got that all measured up and that's another board to put uh, dies on these sheets uh, come three in a package and I think they're like four dollars and fifty cents a piece and you can make a whack of those out of a couple packages. So thank you very much for joining me today. And I hope that you find this tip helpful. As I mentioned, they're quite easy to do. And they're very useful. These are the smaller ones. And if you notice, this leftover piece. On one of them here, I piece them together. And that's exactly the size of that. Thank you so much for joining me today. You take time out of your day and I hope you have a chance to try this because it's really cut down a lot on the bulk of um, the room on storing these dies. Um, check out my blog at kwarnerstudio.com and I appreciate you tuning in and taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.